it feels like his connectivity is going to be a really big addition to this group. Mm -hmm. Um, like his, he's a good screener. He can operate in the short roll and things like that, but just the way that he's able to grab a rebound and fling a pass like on a wire to a guy that's in transition is going to be huge. Hey, McCoy. to hear from Royce O'Neal and David Roddy. We'll start with Royce O'Neal. Here's what he had to say about what he brings to the squad. You know, little things, uh, all the intangibles, you know, be the dirty, you know, dirty work player, uh, knock down open shots, you know, try to make my teammates better any way I can, and, you know, learn from them every way. I mean, take us as far as we can. I mean, love it. That's that's what happens when you bring in a guy who's known for physicality for guarding bigger wings. Like he's going to do the dirty work. He's already aware of what his role is going to be, and that's encouraging to hear that he's, you know, whatever this team takes. It's a, it's such a cliche. We hear it from new guys all the time. Um, but to come in here, look at the big three, and be like, yeah, I'm just going to do whatever they need me to do, even if that means, you know, guarding the toughest opponent every night. That's a good thing. Which I'm sure Kevin Durant will. Uh, gladly welcome yeah. to this squad where they can maybe rotate every once in a while. Sometimes Katie can take a night off of that. Um, but beyond just bringing that physicality and, and doing the dirty work, the fact that he seems to embrace it yeah. too. Like that's one of the biggest things that I took away from mm -hmm. uh, hearing him speak today is that he's cool with that. He likes doing that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the biggest keys because it's one thing to have to do it, to be tasked with that. It's another thing to be like, let me have that. Let me get yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> you, I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you happen to know what number he's going to wear? Double zero, I think. Yep. Double zero? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I was going I was going to say. Yeah. Were you not here last night? You did. No, did no. The, no I, I didn't. Only the third guy to <laughs> yeah, do yeah, that. Nah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that went last in. two days. Of <laughs> long was that literally <laughs> last night? It was last yeah. night. Yeah. That went through one ear out the other, bro. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> uh, no. So I'm, I'm only asking that because, I mean, you nailed it, dog. I, I'm getting Jay Crowder feels mm -hmm. from this dude. And. I thought it'd be savage if he just wore 99. Well, you got another double number. Double number. Mm -hmm. So it's close enough. I mean, really, in the NBA, it's just one number away because you don't go to triple digits. You just cycle back to That's true. double that zero. That is true. Man. Yeah, I, I'm I'm loving everything I'm hearing from, from Royce right now. Um, again, I, I can't help but feel like uh, we might have stumbled on to something. And it, it could be exactly what we needed, mm -hmm. Lens. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to see every I've, I've made a handful of phone calls after the trade. And even before I told y'all earlier, consistently glue guy, locker room guy, guy you want to go to war with. That's what I keep hearing. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, man, I, I love that he's in our locker room. I think this team is about to turn it up. Mm -hmm. I do. And like we mentioned earlier, too, when we were hearing what James Jones had to say, so if that three does go away at any given point or time, there are other um, abilities that Royce O'Neal brings to the table, and he spoke about a couple of them. We'll first start with his passing ability. I mean, I'd rather get an assist than a bucket, to be honest. So, uh, I mean, got got a lot of guys in this team that could score. So, I mean, scoring myself, but then, you know, just being a good playmaker, you know, whenever I'm needed, you know, getting these guys involved and, Win as many games as we can. Did you see the game last night? Oh yeah, I watched so it. So you saw that ball moving, and you were like, "Oh, for sure." <laughs> I said, "I said I'm gonna fit right in." So yeah. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I mean, it, his per thirty six over the last two years, he's averaging a little over four uh, assists a game. And look, there's three and D guys, and then there's something I like to call garbage men. And it sounds derogatory. It's not. It's he feels like a garbage man to me. A guy that's going to. Yes, he'll play the defense. He'll shoot that three, but he's going to do every little thing, including the passing. And I think that's an underrated part of his game that could uh, could pay big dividends, right, in this. It is, and Kevin Durant hit the nail on the head when he mentioned that. Uh, he called him an underrated passer last night when we were talking to him about Royce and what he brings to the table. Um, and this is something that I dedicated a whole section to in my article, Breaking Down His Game Today, because it feels like his connectivity is going to be a really big addition to this group. Mm -hmm. um, like his, he's a good screener. He can operate in the short roll and things like that. But just the way that he's able to grab a rebound and fling a pass like on a wire 
to a guy that's in transition is going to be huge because this is a team that has increased their their tempo and their pace over the last few weeks. Um, there's a lot of highlights of him driving kicks, driving dump offs, just from the top of the key, just throwing the right chest pass like he throws. He zips the ball around where it needs to be. So that sense of urgency, that strength and, and that asset to his game is going to be a perfect fit with this team, especially with the way that the Suns are starting to move the ball. Now that their top guys have been healthy, I think he's going to fit right in in that regard.